In today's video tutorial, we are going to be making ourselves this hipster style logo for a bicycle company. Before we get started on making this today, we just need to pop over to the internet and download this 20 bicycle brush set from brusheasy.com. I'll post a link in the description of the video. And we also need to get this free font, Lemon Milk from defont.com. It's a pretty cool font, this one. It's got quite a few variations as well. Alright, so a couple of freebies there. Once you've downloaded them, head over to Photoshop and we'll get started. Uh, the first thing we need to do is just make a new document up and choose the print templates. I'm going to run with the A4 sizes and change my orientation to landscape format. I'm going to move the color mode down to CMYK color so it's ready for print. And the background contents are going to be a dark gray color. Not quite black, but pretty close to it. Click create when you're ready and You'll have your blank canvas on the screen now ready to create your logo on. First thing I want to bring in today is a picture of the bike. If I just go back to the example for a sec, this bike picture here is what we want to bring in first, which is done by using a brush. Okay, we just downloaded the, the bike brush set a moment ago, so go and select your brush tool. And then at the top of the page there, you've got this little symbol that we can open up this panel with. Okay, your symbol won't be a bike, yours will probably be something like a soft brush or a hard rounded brush. Okay, just click on that little arrow next to it to bring this panel up. And what we're going to be doing is bringing in the bicycle brushes that we just downloaded. And the way we do that is simply hit the cog up in top right of this panel, go down to import brushes and look for the bicycle brushes um, file that we just downloaded with the ABR extension on it. And just load it in. When you load it in, you'll have a folder with those 20 different bikes in it. Okay, you can choose whichever bike you would like for this um, logo. I'm going to go with this one just here. Okay, you can get a bit of a glimpse of what it looks like as you move your mouse cursor around. Now, we don't want to put it in just yet. We want to make a new layer for it first of all. So hit the plus sign there next to the trash can. And then double click on layer 1 to give it a new name. I'm just going to call it Bike. And before I whack it in, because it is too big, I'm going to use my left square bracket. I'll push that a few times to bring it down to size. So something like that's a pretty reasonable size. And then you click once and it's put your bike onto the page. One thing I forgot to note is that the color I'm using is just an off-white color. Okay, so if you want the code, it's E4, E4, E3. But you don't have to use that color. You can choose whatever one you want. But I think the just slightly off-white color looks good. Next thing we're going to do is put in the name of the business, which is Mr. Bicycle. So you'll need your text tool for that. So I'm going to grab the letter T from your toolbox there. Now the font we're going to use for this is called Lemon Milk. It's the one we downloaded as well um, off the internet. So with Lemon Milk selected, we're just going to use the regular version of that font. Um, we might start about size 72 and we can always make it bigger and smaller from there. We'll just see how it goes. Um, some other things we might change is the tracking over here. So yours will probably be set on zero. Okay, the tracking is just the space between the letters um, in the word Mr. Bicycle. So I'm going to set it to 50. So that just moves the text a little bit apart from one another. And now we're good to write it in. So click on the page and write Mr. Bicycle. And using your move tool, just go and move that into the center of the page. Your pink smart guide should show you where the center is. I might want to move my bike as well and get that perfectly centered while I'm at it. There's no smart guides with that one, but I think that's good enough. The next thing we're going to do around this text here, Mr. Bicycle, I'm just going to move it down a bit. I'm going to put some very skinny rectangle lines that are the same width as Mr. Bicycle. So using your rulers that run down the side of the page, press Control R if you can't see them. Uh, drag a ruler out and drop it right on the edge of that letter M and then drag out another one and drop it right on the edge of the letter E. Okay, and now we know how wide we need to make these rectangles that we're about to draw. Go and grab your, grab your rectangle tool now from the toolbox on the left hand side. Make sure your fill color is the same off-white color that you've got for your text. And simply draw a skinny little rectangle that goes underneath Mr. Bicycle. Don't want this too thick. So something like that will look pretty decent. Now zooming in here, I'll just show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this line by simply 
clicking on it once and then holding down the Alt key. And you'll see when I drag now off that line, a duplicate is formed. Okay, so we've now got two lines there, exactly the same size, above and below Mr. Bicycle. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do, I'll just get rid of those actually, we don't need them anymore. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to put in some text that goes below Mr. Bicycle, and it's going to say Custom Bicycles. Okay, so grab your text tool, stick with the same color, in capital letters, write Custom Bicycle. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to change a few things around. Um, we're going to change the font to start with to TW Sen MT. The size is going to come down to about 30. So it's looking a bit nicer. I'm also going to put a bit of space in between each of those letters by adjusting the tracking. I'll go to 200. How's that going to look? 200 is not bad. I might even up it to 300. So you can see the space now between those characters really stretching it out. And we use the Move tool to pick that up and just drop it in the center of the page as well. Uh, smart guide should help you out there. There we go. If you're feeling it's a little bit cluttered, feel free to just nudge it around with your arrow keys a bit. Um, might nudge these a little bit. There we go. It's looking all right for now. I'm going to move this bike down as well. I want it reasonably close to that, that line above Mr. Bicycle. And the last thing we need to do now is just write a little message at the top that says it's established in 2020, this business. Okay, now, it would look okay written in a straight line. I'll just show you what it'll look like. Established 2020. I might make it the same as this custom bicycle down here. So I might change it to TW Sen, size 30, and then 300 tracking. So you can see it looks all right sitting up there above the bike, but... It'll look better if it's on a bit of an arc, I think. Okay, so there's numerous ways you can um, make an arc out of the text. One of the ways I like doing it is drawing a circle first. So go down and grab your ellipse tool from your toolbar. Hold shift to draw a perfect circle over the bike and you'll get a shape looking like this. Okay, use your move tool there just to move it pretty much the center. And I'm going to resize it a bit by clicking and dragging one of the corners. And as I drag, I'm going to hold control. Just to stretch out the other side. Oh, sorry, to stretch out both sides. I need to hold Alt and Control, sorry. Like so. Now don't angle it at all. You see the little angle box just to the right of my cursor. It needs to stay on zero degrees. That looks pretty good. So I'll hit the tick at the top to apply those changes and I'll now get some text to run across the top of this. Okay, so let's click on the top center. I need to click on this first. There we go. Clicking on the top center, I'm going to write established 2020 again. And I can just click on the circle and delete it now. You can see we've got some arced text. You need to give it a rotate at all. By all means, just use your move tool and swing it around. You can always resize it and do all that jazz as well. But I think just a little bit of a rotate will have it looking pretty good. Okay, so that's pretty much a finished logo. It's probably a little bit cluttered for my liking still, so I might move everything down a little bit. Just to space it out, move the bike up a little bit. Yeah, it's looking a bit nicer now. So there you have it. That is how you create a uh, hipster style bicycle logo.